Hello, how are you? We have only a week till the Christmas Eve. Uh, although, like I said, in many European countries or uh, North American countries, oh well, some of the Oceanian com uh, countries too, uh, they started already Christmas time uh, on December 1st. But uh, many Asian countries celebrate uh, Christmas on December 24th. Uh, but then some people also think Christmas is on the 25th. Well, uh, let me remind you again, the Christmas starts, uh, the sunrise, sunset, excuse me, the sunset time on 24th of December. And it ends next days, that means on 25th, around the sunset time. So it starts in the evening and ends in the evening. So celebrating Christmas on uh, the evening of 25th is kind of like a, a day late. Okay, so that's the reason the middle of the, uh, the time of the Christmas, which is the Christmas Eve around midnight uh, between 24th and 25th, is the most important time for religious Christmas, I guess. But then traditionally, in many Western countries, people enjoy opening their Christmas present on 25th, the morning of 25th. So anyway, who brings the uh, Christmas present? That's this man, uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> which is not a religious person. Uh, some people get confused, especially children, but people in uh, unfamiliar Christian countries, uh, people often think Jesus Christ and Santa Claus are the same person sometimes, where well, they are not. The Christmas has many, many different colors, flavors and cultures mixed. However, um, we can enjoy the way you would like. And that is what winter fun is all about. Although in the South Hemisphere, they are having Christmas holidays during the summertime. Okay, but today, instead of uh, studying the new words or idioms, I would like to share how to write Christmas cards or greeting cards, uh, just like in France and in Japan, traditionally people send New Year's cards. Although because of uh, the international influence uh, in France, in Japan, both many, many beautiful Christmas cards can be seen and uh, so I would like to help you writing Christmas cards in different ways. Uh, one thing, when you use email, okay, you can choose the font. Fonts are styles of the characters of the letters sometimes like a cursive shh. some of them are blocked some of them are round some of them are spiky uh, some of the letters look uh, like designed letters but be careful some computers have uh, their makers on created new font which cannot be shared with other computers. Usually for, uh, okay, Windows, PC, or um, Apple computers, like Macintosh. Okay, they usually use Microsoft font. And the Microsoft font said M, I think, S or 
MC or something that indicates kind of a logo. Uh, I think it's the left of the characters. The character names are like, uh, okay, in Macintosh, Apple computer has, <clears throat> excuse me, like, uh, mm, okay, classical font or uh, comic font or Times New Roman, etc. And uh, those famous ones can be shared. So you choose that one with something indicate uh, Microsoft font, then everybody can read that. But then when you want to do that, you cannot do the uh, just a uh, uh, simple email style. No, because simple email style only uses the lightest characters. You have to click on the change into more uh, fancy. It is a little bit heavy, but it's really nothing. And then you will be able to choose that. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, I hope. So here, I would like to share some of them here. Okay, look at this one here. Uh, which one? Let's say this. So do you see it or not? Probably not. Hmm, I hope you could, but uh, because I cannot see the monitor. But anyway, here's greetings in many ways during the winter holiday season. You, this is standard. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Or may the Christmas spirit lift you up. Or wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Do you see these are the font differences? These are probably, I don't know, Mencho or I don't know, something. And this one, rather modern. This one looks like a little bit cursive. Oops, sorry. And here, may the new year be happy and prosperous. Prosperous. prosperous means good, more constructive, or productive, or fruitful. And now this is the uh, classical character, happy holidays. And here, uh, cursive, seasons, greetings. So you can use any of them. Then here, thinking of you during the holiday season. Here, may the new year bring you and your family much happiness. And this one is this smiling face. You can say happy. M, -M means 1,000, 2,000. Then the X is a hundred, uh, excuse me, <laughs> uh, 10 and 10. So two X's means 20. And I is one. So two I's means two. So that means 2022 to you. Okay. Those are kind of a modern way of saying it. Instead of Merry Christmas to you, you put two and the you like that. Since we write I am I with the capital, so you capital makes Y O U U. All right. Once more. Now say this one here. That's right. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Some people say happy Christmas. Yes, merry and happy are the same meaning, but 
Usually Christmas time, we tend to use merry more often than happy uh, with some reasons. But then holidays, many people say happy holidays rather than merry holidays. But for Christmas, merry is standard. Now this one, say this one. Right. May the Christmas spirit lift you up. Do you understand? Lift you up. It means it makes your feeling uh, up. <laughs> okay. Next one here, a little small. I'm sorry about that. Yes. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Next. That's right. May the new year be happy and prosperous. May la 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 la, like this one here too. It means um, you are sort of like a wishing or praying for it. And start with May. Uh, many American politicians or public speakers often say, may God bless you at the end of his or her speech. Yes, may la 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 la. It shows your wishing or praying. Now, this is a little difficult. Can you read it? Yes, happy holidays. Holidays, of course, we have many holidays throughout a year, but especially like a season, holiday season. Of course, many people might think about the spring uh, Easter time or summer vacation time, but usually when you say seasons in English, talking about the winter uh, holiday season. Uh, especially Christmas and the New Year's. So it says, happy holidays here. That's right. Seasons greetings. Next. This one here. That's right. Thinking of you during the holiday season. Now this one, a little small. That's right. May the new year bring you and your family much happiness. The last one. This is rather visual, isn't it? Happy 2022 to you. Lot of 222. So that's next year. So why don't you try writing? the uh, Christmas cards or send Christmas greetings or New Year's greetings, if you like. Next week, yes, is going to be the Christmas. And with COVID-19, now the new variant called Omicron. And we really don't know what's going to happen in the future or next year. But let's wish all the best for the coming year, shall we? I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.